Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting about how to style your coffee table. So if you're looking for some tips, please keep watching. In your living room, your coffee table is at the center of your conversation area. So it does become a focal point. Now it can become a dumping ground for clutter or you might opt to keep it completely clear. Now I think your coffee table is such an amazing opportunity for a styling moment where you can really express your style and enjoy some beautiful objects instead of hiding them away in drawers or cabinets. Let's chat about the five most used objects to style a coffee table. Books are an easy way to add your personality into your style. They add height, texture and colour to your design. Now for decorators, they are actually a great base object to use in all styling. Two to three books piled up look really great and if you have a bigger coffee table, you can have more than one pile of books. Trays. Now trays make another really good base item for your styling. They come in so many shapes, sizes and designs nowadays that you are spoiled for choice. When choosing your tray, consider the shape and size of your coffee table. So the bigger the table, the bigger your tray can be and the smaller your table, the smaller your tray is going to be. You can use your tray to house lots of smaller decor items. Now this is a great decorator's tip because it prevents your coffee table from looking cluttered. And on the practical side, if you quickly need to clear your coffee table for extra space for drinks and food, you can quickly clear it all away by setting the tray aside. Next we have candles and diffusers. Now in any room, when you're going to light a candle, it's going to add to the atmosphere. And why wouldn't you want to do that? You can start off with small tea light candles in holders or tabletop candelabra. But my favorite to style with will be those large candles in glass jars or holders. Diffusers add great texture to your design as well as height. Next we have decor objects. This is another great opportunity to add your personality into your design. Hunt for items that really speak to your personal style. I've seen people use things as varied as brass or ceramic animals and I've even seen a hand in the shape of a peace sign. So again, don't take it too seriously. Go with items that really speak to you and just have fun with it. Next we have fresh flowers and potted plants. Fresh flowers can provide texture, color and height to your design and you can opt for fresh flowers in a vase or you can go for potted plants. Now lately potted succulents have been very popular. Now that you've collected all of the items that you want to use in your design, how do you start to put it all together? Well, start with your base items like your books and trays. If you are low on space, you can even stack some books in your tray. Next, I would layer in the items with height. So your tall candles, diffusers and flowers. Again, you can use your tray to store these items or you can put them alongside your pile of books or tray. Now another decorator's styling tip would be to use one of your more special decor items and put that on top of one of your piles of books. Again, you can create groupings either on top of your books or inside your tray or even just on the table. Now because you are building your design as you go, try different placements. Even decorators have to do this as there's no fail-safe way of actually decorating your coffee table. 
So try a few different versions and see what works for you. I hope you have found some value in the tips I've shared with you today. If you're interested in any of the pictures I've used, I've created a Pinterest board which I've linked below. If you want to stay up to date with more of my styling or interior decorating videos, please subscribe to my channel or click the like button below. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.